when we finally landed on just let's just do it in Chinese because we did we did wrestle with it and for for、mm -hmm. a long time it was in English, and then we decided to switch. You 这么做，让其他的神剑都趋于危险。I think the reason why we embraced it was because it allows us to genre hop because it's based on the TV show from the 1980s,、uh, Monkey. Um, and so, just like the show, our show has a sitcom from the '90s.、Uh, it feels kind of like a Stranger Things type young young adult show.、Um, and then you also have these Chinese gods. It was one more opportunity to do one more genre hop. So we jumped into this 1980s Hong Kong show. Thank you, everyone. Can see, can see. I think language in general is such a, an important part of. The Asian American experience, right? Most of us grow up with one language at home and another language at school. And there's a certain sense of self that is attached to language. You know, ABCs like me, we are often shamed by our parents for how terrible we are at Chinese. And I, I think that terribleness that we have also makes it so that when we interact with our parents, we it's like getting a Glimpse at a culture that we should be familiar with through a like frosted glass. That's kind of、mm -hmm. what it feels like.、Mm -hmm. Kelvin and and Dustin really capture that in that in that pilot. Last night, you got into a fight with my mom about fried squid, which was pretty pathetic. I'm not fluent in Chinese or Taiwanese, but、um, so hearing your parents discuss things, especially when there's clearly tension and they're clearly struggling、um, either with each other or with some aspect of their American lives. But in another language is such a unique experience that I think a lot of people in our community have had.、Mm -hmm. And you can sense something's wrong. You can sense, and you want the best, and you want to help, but you can't because you're 15 years old and you can't even understand what they're really talking about. Fried squid in Chinese it means getting fired from your job. So the the fried squid thing in the first episode was one example of a that we came up with of a missed a missed connection, where he's just. Completely lost, and when it does hit, he realizes, "Oh, they're dealing with something much bigger than I could have ever imagined."、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. That that's the only part where、um, I feel like my experiences differ from Jin's, which is that Jin doesn't really speak Chinese very well at all. He can't I mean, understand most of it. For me, I'm fluent in in Chinese, you know, a hundred hundred percent. You had to act. I、like、did. I had for、fluent. for one for once、uh, in the show, I had to actually act and pretend like I didn't know any Chinese. <laughs> Soccer team. I thought it was really cool because we we kind of go back and forth between English and, and Mandarin, and I think it's actually the first time I've done that because I've either done all in Mandarin or Cantonese or all in English. And this is one where my character actually, when he's in heaven, he's speaking Mandarin, but when he's on earth, he's speaking English, right?、Yeah. And so, and also he has two different forms, so it was kind of cool to be able to to act in two different languages because it's quite different. Like the way you emote in Chinese is very different、yeah. than the way you emote in English. And so to be able to try and combine those together in one character was a, a nice challenge. You 让我上台干什么？让你干嘛？让你干你早该干的事。And it's cool. It's not something that you see very often in in film and TV,、yeah. where there's whole scenes in this sort of American show where two characters, the scene in the scene, these two Chinese characters speak Chinese to each other. Yeah. You know that's not really. I mean, it, as mundane as it sounds, it's not、yeah. something that usually happens. And... 快点把他叫醒，别耽误我们的事儿。You know, I think language in film inspires people, right?、Um, I remember watching the first Hong Kong movies when I was younger in Cantonese, right? And、um, it made me feel closer to that culture. But also, like a lot of my non-Chinese friends were into it too because that they, they wanted to know like the slang terms of the language, and then because of that, they got to know a little bit more, more about the culture. And then they wanted to try the food, and then they wanted to travel there. And like I remember when the Wong Kar Wai craze was going on, right, with Chungking Express and all that. People wanted to go to Hong Kong and check it out because it looks so cool in there. So I think language, foreign language, allows people to、uh, reaches out to people who normally wouldn't be exposed to that and expose them to our culture and to、um, expose them to a different world that they're not normally used to. And I think it's a great time now for this type of media, right? Because like young audiences are really savvy nowadays. You know, I can speaking for myself. Growing up with the internet, I, I'm used to shows with subtitles. Like that's not. Strange for me, and you know, my brain is used to reading subtitles and watching the show too. 反对不反对，你的路要自己走。It's come a long way because I remember twenty something years ago when, let's say, when Crouching Tiger first came out, it was this huge revelation that it was so successful with subtitles, right? And I remember at that time being in the business, like, oh, you can't do movies with subtitles. Nobody wants to read characters, and it's like, 
or read words while they're watching a movie. But now it's like second nature. I think with anime, with all like like Squid Game, like those shows, that everyone's like into it because it feels more realist, real, and it feels more yeah, authentic. Yeah, it feels more specific. It feels like a more um, specific, yeah. like new experience. Yeah, because when I see, I grew up in the era where they dubbed the kung fu movies, and it yeah. was so bad. Like the <laughs> dubbing was so bad, it became a joke, right? So many comedians have done that, and blah blah blah. And now people don't want to watch that. They don't want to see a bad dub version. They want to see the authentic, real version.